Hey, welcome back to my channel. I would like to just do a quick, um, kind of answer a quick question. Um, I'm also gonna unbox the uh, F55 amp. This is the Pro 2 version. Uh, so I'm gonna just kind of open the box, show what's in it, and then answer a question about the 10 volt back on this. And I have the this ESC in my five inch race drone so in in here in here we can see the uh f55 amp pro 2 esc and then i have the the mamba f722 flight controller and then i just have a uh it's just basically a carbon board that i've adhered the akk race vtx to so I've had this one out a few times on the track and done some some little bit of changes just kind of going through and uh, thank my buddy Jared for this fin help uh, keep that antenna from being ripped off this uh, mode 2 ghost frame is really tight these are 5 inch props and you can see there is like little to no clearance at all so, 5-1 props actually hit the frame. So, I kind of wish in a way it would have, you know, just give a little more space on that. But, it is what it is. Uh, other than that, I like the frame. The weight of it is really good and it has the super thick 5 millimeter arms. So, the ESC, just going to kind of open the box, take a gander, answer a question about the 10 volt back, and then kind of a little bit of the performance that I've had out of this. I, I can just say as far as performance, it, it handles a 4S battery. I'm running a 1500. I picked up this deal, a 1500. I, I was debating if this would be really heavy and, and not like it. I actually like it pretty well. Um, I want to try a 1300. I haven't tried a 1300 on this. So this battery, you know, being 4S, you're going to push a lot more amps through your ESC. And I have full throttled this thing across an entire soccer field. I mean, just given it. Um, in the beginning, I had issues with brownout. So when I would throttle up or bang on the throttle pretty good my osd would go away i didn't lose any video i didn't have any interruption with video but the osd would just kind of go away for that moment uh, so i ran a redundant ground from the esc so from the the ground on the esc to the flight controller and to the VTX, so all three of them are now uh, have a redundant ground and it totally took care of it. So I will probably dig into this a little more if people are really interested in it. Um, I'm running uh, T Motor F40 Pro 2 2400 kV motors, and these are the Emacs. Um, I think they're the 50, 5043s, I think. I'll have to look that up. And now for the ESC. Just gonna go through, open this up. There's all kinds of little pieces of paper in this thing. So here's the ESC. It does have the heat sink, which I like. It's got the larger feds and hopefully this one has an accurate current reading uh, that one uh, is not putting out an accurate current reading but pyro drone and t motor has taken care of the situation and here it is so we will get this one in there but yeah you can kind of see i'd like to give you a weight i know there's a Probably plenty of information on this. So yeah, 17.66 grams. So it's you can feel it's got a little bit of a little bit of something going on there. I'm 
sure that heat sink is adding to it, but I haven't had any issues with that. I was kind of worried that when I was, you know, nailing full throttle for such a long period of time, I would end up having, you know, maybe some issues, but I haven't. So I was also going to answer a question about the uh, 10 the 10 volt Beck. The 10 volt Beck on this, you pull from the wire harness. Looks like they give you. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I didn't have uh, I didn't have these in th that BSE didn't come with these for you to clip your wires down in your frame. Those are kind of handy. Huh. Wow, looks like they give you, what, four of them? And some sticky pads to put them on the frame. Hmm. Anyway, so you have your wire harness. You can do, um, you know, this one where you can cut it and solder it. And then this one comes with pins. So you can choose, choose which Molex you want to use. So you can plug this into your ESC. And then you can choose which one of these will go to your flight controller. So that's kind of a nice option. There's already the pins on the on the header. So you can just plug these into your plug those into your flight controller. Alright, so let me I'm gonna raise this up and, and get a closer view of this. Alright, so we have our wire harness that they supply. And then you'll see there's two grounds and then two red or two black wires and two red wires. Okay. So these both are grounds. So it doesn't matter where you put them. Okay. You can, these, these are just, just grounds. You can, you can solder them, you know, to wherever you want. That's a ground, of course. So one can go to your flight controller for ground. And then the other one can go to whatever device that you want to run. Okay, you can run a VTX. Okay, so this, this first red wire is battery voltage. This is feeding out battery voltage, okay? So this first red wire, that's what, this red wire is what I feed into the, the battery voltage going into my flight controller. That's this, this is the wire that feeds battery voltage, okay? If you have a whole bunch of stuff connected to your flight controller, um, your flight controller may only be able to, you know, run two amps. So if you have everything hooked up to your flight controller, you may exceed the back that's on your flight controller, your rail, which maybe two amps might be. I've not really seen much better than two amps. Some of them are one amp. So it's nice to get uh, an ESC that has a, an, its own Beck, and this is the 10 volt Beck. Okay, so you're going to have a ground and this red wire. Okay, and that's going to run your device. But you got to make sure that you don't put this this red wire into one of your devices that can't handle battery voltage. But I run this to my flight controller you can run battery voltage so you can run a wire from here from your you know from your battery you know you're gonna run a capacitor across these two pads I better I'm gonna have a lot of questions so here's the capacitor you can see on the capacitor this is the minus okay so this lead goes to the negative and that's also nice they provide a hole here so it holds it for you while you solder it in anyway okay so that's where we're at okay so positive negative you can run battery voltage you can run a small silicone wire so just grab you you know a silicone wire and you can run that from battery voltage to your flight controller okay or you can run this the other thing you can do is, is you can run your battery voltage from, from here to your flight controller and run this to your VTX if it can handle battery voltage. If your VTX or your camera or any of that stuff is 5 volts, th this, none of this is going to work. This ESC is not going to allow you to do 5 volts. 
Okay. Rescue drone. I have the uh, the uh, F55 amp um, ESC. It, it's not the Pro 2 version, and it has a 5 volt back. But on this one, there's a 10 volt back. Okay, so you can run. I am running on my 5 inch race drone. I'm running um, my camera, my run cam Swift 2. I'm running it off the 10 volt back. This 10 volt back is uh, rated for 2 amps. Okay, so you can run quite a few things off of, off of this 10 volt back without overloading it. I'm going to suggest that you run a redundant ground. And then what I've done is, is I've spliced another ground right here. I've cut it here. And I've ran another wire, another ground wire to my uh, flight controller and another one up to my VTX. So that kind of redundant, I mean, that's what it is, is redundant ground. It's an extra ground going all three components. And that's what cleared up that brownout that I was having when I would throttle full up and the OSD would kind of slowly deteriorate. That don't happen anymore. So that's kind of the answer. I've, I've answered this question quite a few times on Facebook and, and stuff. Uh, I don't think people are, are seeing the 10 volt back on this and how, how to work it. I actually have... actually have something else to show you here. This is an external or uh, separate, you know, separate uh, 5 volt back. I get these from uh, race day quads. This is a 5 volt back. You can see, you know, here's my pinky nail. You can see how small that is. It's tiny. You don't even know it's there. And I prefer to use these a lot of times because for some reason you don't have enough juice or whatever so basically you're just taking your battery voltage so you're just going to take a wire from your from your battery pads and you're going to run it to this and then you're going to run some wires out of that to whatever device that you want to run a 5 volt back there it is and it's nice because if anything happens to that back you're not you're not injuring your components, you know, your major stuff like your $75 ESC and your $45 flight controller or whatever. This Beck takes the injury, takes the impact, and this thing's only a couple bucks. And it comes with some silicone wire, four pieces of silicone wire, so you don't even, you don't even have to worry about wire. But I really like this for five volts. So I hope that answers the question. If, if any of this didn't make sense or um, you have more questions about the ESC let me know but from from what I've gathered so far this this thing this thing can handle quite a bit of amps unfortunately I've not been able to document the amp draw on the quadcopter due to the fact that my uh, original one that I put in my five five inch race drone is showing 86 amps sitting on the bench. And I've not been able to uh, fix that or do anything with it. There's no way you can calibrate it or modify a couple settings. I've went through all the wiring. I've changed a couple other things, swapped wires back and forth, trying to trying to get it to change, and it, it just didn't. So they have replaced it. So kudos to uh, T-Motor and... Uh, Power drone for for handling the business. All right. So any questions about this, hit me up in comments, and I hope to get some more content out. I apologize that the camera that I'm now having to use isn't as nice as the one that I had, but it is what it is. 
Thank you very much for your time and have a good one.